So for the strawberry limeade, I have about three cups of thawed frozen strawberries. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this blended up. So I blended that up. You can strain this at this point or you can go ahead and leave it whole. I'm gonna leave it as is. And to this, I'm going to go ahead and add in a third cup of lime juice. You can add a little more depending on how tart you want that. Um, and I'm going to be using the light agave as well as the um, dark agave as well. I find that blending them both gives it a nice flavor and it's not an overwhelming taste of agave. So I'm adding... Um, two, a half a cup to two thirds cup of the light agave and one cup of the dark agave. And I'm just going to get this mixed up together in a pitcher. And then I'm going to add to it some sparkling spring water. And this one is the lime flavored, but you can use the plain if you want. So I'm just going to pour this in. And then I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice little mix. I do recommend that you add your sparkling spring water before serving because if you add the sparkling spring water um, too far ahead of time, it will go flat on you. So you want to add that in right before you plan on serving it. And then you just want to pour that over a little ice. And there you go. Strawberry limeade. So now I'm going to do the cherry limeade, which is pretty much uh, the same process. I didn't have quite um, a full cup of cherry, so I'm going to make a smaller batch of this. So I have here um, the same, the light and the dark agave. I have one and a half limes. Use key limes if you can, but that's what I had left. And I have almost one cup of cherries that I'm going to blend up. And for this recipe, I will be straining. Um, the blended cherries so I'm just gonna run that through a strainer you can also squeeze that through some cheesecloth if you want to um, make it a little bit faster I find that the strainer gets more of the excess out so this is what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the agave so for the agave with this um, since this is a smaller batch I'm gonna add a little bit less so I'm adding a fourth of a cup of the light agave and I'm going to add a half of a cup of the dark agave and I did already add in my one and a half lime juice if you're using key limes um, you're going to need to add more I would say for one regular lime you want to do about four key limes and I'm just going to give this a whisk and get this nice and mixed together and I just added this to my mason jar and what I'm going to do is for every one cup um, I'm going to do like a, a two to one ratio so I put one cup of the mix in I'm going to put two cups of the sparkling spring water and give that a mix and there you have it your cherry limeade and I just poured it into the bottle because it was easier to store so here you can see that I've stored it in the bottle enjoy Thank you.